Morning everyone. It's Monday the 5th of February. Uh, I finished work this morning. When most people's work beginning, mine's just finished. I like, that's the only benefit I find of nights, where you finish on a Monday morning. Anyway, I digress. I did promise on my previous video to talk about premiums. I know I hit it, hit on it before. Uh, especially when I was doing the copper, if you remember, <coughs> we were on about copper, where on a five kilogram bar costing two hundred pounds, a hundred and seventy five were premiums, so that's a seven hundred percent increase. So that's why, really, from a a stacking stacker point of view, copper is a no no. It visually it looks superb and I wouldn't be without my, my little one kilogram bar. So that really opened my eyes because people said, oh, you pay a bit more for copper in premiums. But when you crunch the numbers, it was horrendous. So it did get me thinking about silver. You know, what actually are we paying premiums on silver? And when do we think we're going to get returns? Like I looked at the spot price today. And although I've been only stacking a year, I have noticed a little bit of a pattern where on a Monday morning it seems to go down and fluctuate all week. And then on the Friday it seems to go back to what it was on the Monday. Uh, there was a spike uh, where it went slightly over $25. But I think that seems to be the pattern for me. I know these gold and silver gurus saying that it's gonna it's gonna sort of go out of control but <clears throat> at the moment i think uh the comparison with gold and silver i think it's running about 89 to 1 89 ounces of silver will buy you one ounce of gold so like i say this is all about premiums right so when i started stacking i did a bit of research and and stuff like that, and decided what I was going to do. And what I decided, this is this is what I wait the way I see the, the silver and gold. You're either a stacker, where you're after low premiums, or you're a collector, and you'll pay high premiums. And there's a bit of a, a middle ground. Now, for those out there, I think we need a name for this middle ground. Because you've got a stacker, you've got a collector. So get your thinking caps on and we'll start calling this area something. I can't think of one, to be honest. <clears throat> I give myself a headache trying to think. This medium premium area. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is only my... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, this is only my opinion. I know everybody's entitled to their own opinion, so don't slag me off. You might have... A different one and obviously it's in pounds so if you're in america it'll be slightly different and if you're in other parts of the world if you are watching outside of the uk thanks for joining me obviously the uk ones thanks as well anyway so when i started i set myself a target of 25 pound for coins one ounce coins I won't pay more than £25 per ounce and I wouldn't pay more than £22 for the silver, uh, for, the, for, the, for the bars. Uh, so basically, straight away, that ruined out <coughs> any, new, any new silver with the 20% tax. So with the, <coughs> with the uh, medium premiums, uh, I think it should be about £28 coins. I'll try and do things logically. £28 for coins and £25 bars. Again, it probably still rules out new silver. And then in the collector bracket, I think coins are £30 plus. Premiums with bars twenty eight pound plus. 
I got this off the internet. Look at the patina on that. Isn't that gorgeous? I didn't realise how nice patina could look. So there you go. <clears throat> so that's my three character categories. The stacker, the collector, and sort of the middle ground. So what I'm going to do now is show you some of my purchases, and I'll put them in the relative areas. I go from earliest purchase to latest purchase. So the two early ones <coughs> were Britannia's from the marketplace. These I got under my £25 limit. I've got a 100 of those. Then I bought... No, sorry. The Britannia's I've got 225. I've got nine, nine tubes. So I paid well under the £25. So that comes under the stacker. I bought some maples. I got four tubes of them. Again, well under the 25. This is in the early days when I was just starting off. I was very strict. And then I got four bars. I paid under under my under my did I pay under my twenty two pound limit? I think it was just about under the £22 limit. So I was go going great guns. Then uh, I've missed I've missed the 10 ounce bars. I haven't got them with me. So we'll have to pretend. Right, so, <clears throat> so there you go with them. Then I got fixated with these, didn't I? <clears throat> so I've got two... The Robin Hood and the White Horse of Mortimer. They scrape in in my stacker limit. So I'm doing pretty well so far. The one I bought off uh, Atkinson's was just out of that limit in the, in the grey area, shall we call it. Remember, keep thinking about a name for this area. Post what you think it could be called. So that's one of them. Apart from, I, I would put the ten ounce, the ten ounce bars. See these, see, see this one here. I've got three of those, so they would fall in this category. But I forgot to get them. Okay, so that would go there. I've got no bars in the collector category, twenty pound plus. I'm going back a little bit. <coughs> the Scottsdale. My two ounce stackers are in this category here. So as you can see, my initial strictness of 25 and 22 soon stopped. And then I started collecting this area. <coughs> my recent purchase of a five ounce stock deal. Where does that fall in? Yes, that falls in this category. So I'm dead pleased about that. And then you saw me just the other day with... The Egyptian coins, these were a real bargain. The The guy who I met, a very nice guy, he contacted me this morning with a text. The The guy who's going to buy one of his five ounces is a no-show. But the guy, from, for my purposes, is asking too much now. I got these almost at spot price. But he's, he's asking a lot for his five ounce ones, so I won't be buying those. You might have other silver for sale, so we might get back in touch. And then the collector area, and we all know which one, if you've been following me, you all know which one I'm going to pull out, is this one, the David Bowie. This is well over the £30. And I'll tell you the price I paid for this is £49.99. And like I was stupid when I bought it, but... My Achilles heel is David Bowie. I would so much love to buy the gold version of this. But for a one ounce coin, I think you're talking two and a half, three thousand pounds. Which, as you know, gold was 1616 recently. So, you know, at the higher end of that limit, it's, it's sort of almost double. So that's that one. Uh, 365, did you copy off me with these? Yeah, question mark. Uh, I don't mind if you did, because I've copied off you with the uh, 
with the minus, so it's fine by me. So there's the, say the Bowie one is in this bracket. And then what did surprise me is if those who remember my unboxing of these bullets, I was a bit under under impressed with them. And when I did the calculations, they actually come in this bracket, which surprised me. Now, the likes of this, because it's a, like a collector item, even though I overpaid, I think I should get my money back. I'll definitely get my money back off this, I believe. And the Britannia won't because it's still brand new. Uh, and I'm running at a loss on the Atkinson site because obviously there's the 20% and the uh, premiums. Uh, easy sell lows back. Easy sell lows. <coughs> the 10 ounces, <coughs> the two ones I've got well underpaid. I think the bar, I might struggle a little bit, but you never know. And these, the four tubes of of uh, maples, I'll I'll get my money back even now. And the Britannia's the nine tubes of those. So, where does that sort of leave me, sort of thing? So I've done a little table. So I'll get this in focus. So. At the moment, I think the actual spot price is just over 18. I think it's fallen below 18 now with the Monday, the Monday sort of price drop. So on all the calculations, we'll assume silver spot to be 19, right? So in the first category, which I call the stacker category, my upper limit for coins was £25. Now, for me to get my money back... The spot price would have to increase by 31.5%. That's just to break even. Now, I'm not very good at maths, and i got a, a lady at work to help me. So, these figures are a little shocking to me. So, I'm not 100% sure these figures are right, but according to the lady at work, they are. So, we'll assume they're right. I'm, I suspect if I'm wrong, we'll get some comments about them and then the bar price just to remember this this britannia 10 ounce bar i've got three of and, and they're in this category anyway so if a spot price if i buy the bars at 22 pound the price would have to go up by 16 percent which for me is not that bad i know you're going to say silver is a long term but when you look at the long-term price of silver, I think there was a big spike. But apart from that, it's sort of... So my, my alarm bells are ringing a little bit. I know I've only been doing it a year. So that was quite shocking. Like £25, it would have to go up 31.5%. That seems a lot to me. So that's the stacker category. That's this one here. Okay. Luckily, most of mine are in there. With the oddballs here. And then the, the middle category that hasn't got no name. Remember to think of a name for this category. Now, if you were buying a £28, that's a 47% increase to, to break even. So it seems enough when you look at 47%. And then with the bars, a £25, that would have to increase 31.5% to break even. So these figures, if correct, I, like I say, I'm about 90% the correct, but this lady at work seems to be a clever woman, so we'll have to see. And then the collector category, which is my David Bowie one, in the 365 tin and the bullets. Uh, of all my items I've ever bought, <laughs> when these arrived was my most disappointing. I don't know I don't know why I bought them in the end, but anyway. It is what it is. Now the collector category it is thirty pound plus and to get your money back on thirty pound 
it would have to go up 57% to break even. And then on the bars, if you assume a price of £28, the bars would be 47% to break even. So, do we think it's going to happen soon? I don't know. The, the The market seems to sort of be quite stable at the moment. I know everybody keeps saying it's going to go. And with the ratio, it's about 89 to 1. When you look at the ratio, 89 to 1, it just cries out that the uh, silver is undervalued. And I keep getting wobbles with the silver. Uh, I know I've just bought a load of silver, but at those prices I couldn't couldn't resist. But, uh, you know, I love my items of silver, like, you know, these ones. So I don't think I would sell. And there's the four more, isn't there? I mentioned four more before, the fear of missing out. It would be just my luck that I get rid of the, all this. Probably a little bit of it at a loss. And then the spike would happen. So at this moment, I'm going to keep my silver. <clears throat> but unless it's sort of in this category, I'm not going to buy anymore. Even if... Even if it's in this category, the only time I probably would buy in this category is the ten ounce round, uh, ten ounce coins. Uh, I am resisting buying the one kilogram. I think the one kilogram would probably would it be in that one? I think it's still in this one. So those are the only two I would really sell unless some cheap silver comes in my way, and I'm definitely not going to buy. I did look at uh, the do a 5 ounce and a 10 ounce bullet. They're more like a shell, not a bullet. I hate to think the size of the gun they would come out of. Uh, but I think the 10 ounce bullet, the cheapest one I could find, was £350. So that would make £35 an ounce. And so that's well above... Well above this, so you know it's it's going to be in the 65 percent probably. I know there's a collective price, so if you bought Wazi, you probably would. But uh, if you're buying to a shop, somebody like that, they they're going to be looking. You know, they're going to, their calculations will be based on spot, and maybe a little bit more. So. So, yeah, I'm definitely only going to buy in this category from now on again. I sort of lost my way a little bit. I let my, my, my heart rule my head when I got that. Obviously, with the David Bowie one, I think that's an exception. That's, uh, that's a rule. I think the most I would pay for a gold David Bowie coin in this announce, it would be about 1900 I think. But... I haven't got a snowball in hell of getting one for 1900 so I'm happy with my, my silver one. Yeah, he died 2016, two days after his birthday. A little bit of useless information. Right, so that's it. So I say that was a bit of an eye-opener for me about premiums. I know silver's a long-term investment, but it just came as a bit of a shock when he started looking at the premiums we're paying before we make any profit. I suppose the stackers who've been doing it a long time will, you know, if they if they use it as a dollar cost average or something, or pound cost average, they'll probably be doing a little better. But as a new stacker, the road head doesn't look that good. But like I say, I'll keep it for now. Because also what you've got to think about is if the economy crashes as well. You know, it's, it's, it's not just about making money. It's about preserving your wealth as well. So that's to be thought. I think a true stacker really would only stick with these, wouldn't it? These are so, so sort of cheap to buy. And because they're in one ounces, it would be easy to liquidise. You know, these are just niceties and, and these are 
borderline silly, really. You know what I mean? Like, would you barter with that, really? You know what I mean? So you would definitely sort of uh, in this category. So there you go. That's my video for today. It's Monday. F for all those of you who are starting your working week, have a good week. I'm going to enjoy my days off. There's always a price to pay. I'm back Friday when your day finishes Friday. So, you know, there's always a give and take. Anyway, have a good week. Bye until the next video. Bye for now.